Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Paul Radio Man 2094 here, back again with another video. And today we're going to do a quick unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy A10e. You can buy this on Amazon. All the other links up in the description. The price on this one, I paid for. I got this from Walmart, so this is 80 bucks for that. But you could get it on Amazon for 180 bucks. But depends on which carrier you get it from. Prices are very. Now let's go through all the colors. It comes in four different colors. You got black, you got gray, blue, and red. And this is GSM and CDMA. So you could use this on Verizon, Cricket Wireless, AT&T, T-Mobile, Metro by T-Mobile, Sprint Boost Mobile, or Virgin Mobile. And then the build quality, you got a glass front, plastic back and plastic frame and then for the screen resolution you got a PLS TFT capacitive touchscreen 5.83 display and when you watch your videos it's going to be in the 19 by 5 aspect ratio and then now for the processor you got the Exynos 7884 14 nm octa-core 2 times 1.6 gigahertz cortex a73 and 6 times 1 dot 35 and you got the molly g 71 mp2 so this is budget specs we're talking about here budget specs and then for memory you got 32 gigabytes of storage internal storage and you got two gigabytes of ram and then you got a micro sd card slot for expandable memory of course and then for the cameras on the rear you got like a single setup you got an 8 megapixel camera and then you got a front uh, 5 megapixel camera, like on the front display, aka the teardrop notch. We'll talk about that here in a moment. And then uh, and then for the operating system, of course, it's running Android 9 Pi with the Samsung One UI skin on top. And then for the battery, you got a 3000 milliamp battery. And then you got Bluetooth 5.0 and you got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. You got USB Type-C charging. And that's pretty much it. So let's let's unbox this and see what it is. Oh yeah, just real quick. Just as a reminder, this didn't come like this. I, I got the Boost Mobile version from uh, Walmart. So this came in that box because you know how tough these boxes are. It is what it is. But this is the Boost Mobile version right here. Just as a reminder. <laughs> All right, let's unbox this and see what it is. All right, let me pull the table towards me a little bit. Oh. All right. All right. Samsung Galaxy A10e. Oh yeah, it also got me a case. So let's let's take this case out of the package real quick and see what it is. All right. I got the my usual knife. <laughs> okay. Use that precise cut. <laughs> Okay, so let's take a look at this. This is just a little simple gel skin case, but it's going to protect your phone, though. Okay. Okay, so yeah, this is going to be your case right here. A little dusty on the inside, but it is what it is. Okay. Get this out of the way. All right, and then now for the device itself. Let's uh, unbox this and see what it is. All right, now I'm going to get my knife again my bark knife all right so here we go little cut this little crease right here okay oh one more okay all right here we go samsung galaxy a10e okay, i'm just trying not to damage this box because this is a pretty dope box right here let's be gentle okay All right, here we go. Okay, starting off, this is gonna be your device. We'll talk about this here in a second. And then you got your power plug, Samsung branding. And then you got your USB Type-C charging cable. Like how everything is all blacked out, pretty dope. And then you got your SIM ejection tool. Definitely going to need that. 
if you want to put your SD card in here, put this right here. And then your quick start guide, aka usual books and shit. Shout out to Flossie Carter for getting us into saying that fucking word. <laughs> usual books and shit. All right. And that's pretty much it. Let me just put these back in the box real fast for now. And now for the Coupe de Gras. Or the phone itself. Alright, let's get this plastic out of the way real fast. Okay. Okay. Now fresh out of the box. This definitely looks pretty dope, dude. Let me put on my LED flash real quick. Okay. Yeah, this is the gray color right here, the gray color. All right, let's go through all the ports real quick. All right, so you got your little mic right here. Oop, little mic right here. Let me turn off the flash. There we go. Got your mic right here. And then on the right side, you got volume up and down. You got your power off and on. And then you got your speaker grill right here watch let me turn on the light again just okay all right let's do this again got your volume up and down you got your power button on off and on but you get the idea and you got your speaker grill right here you got a little mic right there usb type c headphone jack headphone jack apple get your shit together bring this back headphone jack headphone jack all right and then on the other side, you got your mic, and this is going to be for your SIM and SD card, the little tray right there. And that's pretty much it. So let's power this on and see if we got any juice. Okay, Samsung Galaxy A10e, secured by Knox, powered by Android. Okay, like this little boot up. And as you see right here, got your little teardrop display. You see this, Apple? Use this instead of a stupid receding hairline notch. Get your shit together and change that, Apple. And then, so that's going to be your teardrop notch. And then you got your little bezel on the bottom. I mean, yeah, it's a minimum bezel. It's not like a gigantic chin, but here it is. But definitely looks pretty dope, though, for the display. Alright, so I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to get this all set up, and then we'll breeze through the OS. Alright, stand by. Alright, Joe, so we back in. Now I just put my information in the phone, got everything all set up. This phone is pretty awesome. But this is going to be my new video camera for unboxing videos on YouTube. Or just a little phone to mess around with. But let's get towards the build quality. The build quality on this, I mean, it's a plastic build, but doesn't feel cheap, though. Doesn't feel cheap. Let me get, like, a wipe down real fast. But definitely feeling that, like that little Samsung, and then a little riding on the bottom. All right, so here's a couple ways to open up your phone. Now, there's no fingerprint sensor, but you could... Swipe up, put in your pattern or pin, and then you got face unlock, and it works every time. This face unlock is pretty fast. And as you see right here, you see that little thing right there? It's searching for my face. So let's do this again. Let's Watch it up close. There we go. You can get it wiped down real fast. But definitely feeling this build quality though. Let's uh, take it over to settings real quick. All right, let's go through your toggles real quick. You got your Wi-Fi, you got Wi-Fi calling, you got sound, you got Bluetooth. This is Bluetooth 5.0. But let me turn this on. I'll do that later. And you got auto rotate, of course. I have that on. Airplane mode. You got your flashlight. And then, watch, let me do it again. Definitely works. And you got power mode. You got mobile data. You got blue light filter. 
So this is going to give you that yellowish hue. You got mobile hotspot. You got your location. You got smart view. Do not disturb. You got your secure folder. So you can stash all your private photos and whatnot. You got your sync. You got Dolby Atmos. But I've tested out Dolby Atmos on the Samsung Galaxy J3 Orbit. It gives you like digital surround sound, like just connecting headphones or any Bluetooth device. So I've covered that before. So you got Dolby Atmos, of course. But yeah, you got to wear headphones though. Headphone jack for that. And then you got night night mode. I'm going to keep, keep this on, of course. Keep everything all blacked out. And then the Google bar is all blacked out too. Okay, so let's take it over to... Okay, and that's pretty much it. Let me just... Okay. All right, let's take it over to settings. All right, so you got your connections, your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, airplane mode, voice networks, mobile networks, data usage, mobile hotspot and tethering, more connection settings. Let's go over here. And you got your printing, you got your VPN, and your private DNS. Okay. And then you got your data usage. You got, we already went through mobile hotspot and tethering, but just in case, you can use this as a hotspot. Bluetooth tethering. Your data usage. And then voice networks. Mobile networks. All right. And then that's it for that. And you got your notifications. So you could set up YouTube, Gmail, all your notifications. And you got display. All right. And I have it on max brightness. And you got outdoor mode. Of course, you could use this when you're outside and stuff. And you got font size and style. But I'm going to keep everything like this because I see that Samsung does a good job with all this. And you got full screen apps. Or oh, you got screen zoom. Do what you do there. And you got full screen apps. Set them up the way you want. Let me turn off my flash real quick. And then and you got screen timeout. I have it out set to 30 minutes. So And then you got home screen. Do what you do there. You got touch sensitivity. And you got your screensaver. And then that's it for that. And you got biometrics and security. I got face recognition and my pattern and stuff. So do what you do there. And then all your setup features right here. Okay. And then you got your accounts and backup. So you got Samsung Cloud if you got a Samsung account. Set it up the way you want there. And you got your advanced features. You got reduced animations. And you got motions and gestures. Let's check that out. Keep screen on while you're looking at it. Let's try that out. Smart alert. Your phone will vibrate. Okay. One-handed mode. But I'll set that up later. And you got game launcher for like gaming and stuff. And then you got your dual messenger. So you could add two Facebooks, two WhatsApps. Do what you do there. And you got send SOS messages. I'll get back to you guys on that one later on. And you got your digital well-being. Get your ass off the phone and get into the real world for a minute. <laughs> but yeah, you got your digital well-being though. And you got device care. And it's checking my system right now. So it's excellent as you see there. It's learning usage patterns and you got 2.13 gigabytes free. I added my storage and then 530 gigabytes or megabytes free. I don't know why I said gigabytes, but megabytes, but you know what I'm talking about. Okay. And then divide. Oh, we already went through this. All right. And then apps. All your apps are here. Do what you do. Watch. Let me, uh, let me, let me do this one more time. 
because I'm going to probably enable Amazon. Okay. All your apps. All right. General management. You got language and input. So I have it set to English, of course. And then physical keyboard. You got your on-screen keyboard. And autofill. All your, all your good stuff right there. All right, let's take it over to accessibility. Okay, so if you're hearing your vision impaired, you can still rock out with this phone. No problem. And you've got system updates. And then download and install. And it's checking my phone for updates real quick. Now I'm not connected to like like my real Wi-Fi network or service. I'm using my hotspot on my phone, which is pretty slow, but it is what it is. Yeah. Matter of fact, y'all, yeah, I'll check this later. And then, um, what was it? Help, you got your usual ma user manual. So I'll take you to the website, of course. Now let's go back. And then, and then about phone, and then you got your software information, and you got the Samsung One UI, and then you got Android 9 Pie. As you see there. Okay. And that's pretty much it. And then, and then you could close all your apps, go over here. I'm definitely feeling this dark theme though. Okay, and then the, you could swipe up to your apps, of course, and you could go back. I like these Samsung phones that you could do that and stuff. Pretty phenomenal, dude. Okay, now let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to Samsung.com. Okay. And you got the Exynos uh, 7884. So this is basically budget specs, but not complaining with the specs though. Everything's all nice and fluent. But again, I'm using my, uh, my phone's hotspot, which is pretty slow, but it is what it is. But I'll be doing the real review, so anything I missed and whatnot, I'll get back to you later on. Now let's uh now real quick, let's uh check uh YouTube real quick. Alright, just in case you want to see the case, here it is. It's the on little gel gel skin case. It's like a silicone case, but and then put my phone in here. Okay. but it's going to give you like protection from the back and stuff all your ports are right, cut out right here here's all your cutouts and then cutouts on the volume up and down and the power button right here but yeah definitely looks pretty nice though blends into the gray in the back but definitely looks good on the screen though all right, now let's take it over to YouTube. All right, now let, I have it on YouTube now. We're going to test out the speakers and the display. So let's play the video. All right, so nice vlog that I did this week. All right, full screen. And you got a bomb firing speaker. But definitely pretty loud though. Definitely nice viewing angles. Alright, so max volume. Oh, 
Okay, now let's wrap this up. All right, so overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving this phone a definite A+. This is by far the most affordable Samsung Galaxy budget phone you could possibly get with running Android 9 Pie. And then they're not like really the top of the line specs that you find on the Samsung Galaxy S10 or S10e, S10 Plus, Galaxy Fold, Galaxy uh, Note 10, Galaxy Note 10 Plus. N not all, all those bells and whistles, but but as far as the camera, stay tuned for the real review because I'm going to be doing the real review. I'm going to be covering everything on this phone. So again, let's take a look at it one last time. Definitely nice. But alrighty, guys. Samsung Galaxy A10e. Unboxing and first impressions. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about this one. And like I said, we'll be doing the real review. Uh, I'll give me a couple of weeks on that, and we'll be doing that here soon. But, alrighty guys, I'm Paul Radio Man 2094 I'm out. We'll see you guys in the next video.